the anniversary of the moon landing. I was like, oh, that's cool. And I was reaching, and they're like, the moon landing wasn't real. The moon landing wasn't real. I was like, what? <laughs> but we got footage. Somebody went to the fucking moon. And I'm like, oh, oh, these white people don't think that racism is real. Why would they believe the fucking moon landing? <laughs> We got plenty of footage for that shit. You know, it's not real fucking zombies, but y'all are getting real prepared for that. <laughs> Can't say the only thing that's good about living in New York is I'm trying to get me one of these fine Jewish menses. I don't know why, I don't know why. I can't tell you, maybe it's because I love the Lord. I don't know. Because Old Testament God is my favorite God because he played no games. <laughs> I told y'all stop doing this dumb shit. I told you, you know what? Flood the earth, try me again, try me again. I do sleep with a lot of white dudes because the cops keep killing black men. I'm trying to create allies. <laughs> I do have people ask me, they're like, so you, don't, so you don't date black dudes? I'm like, I'm from Atlanta. I've dated every edition of black men they make. Of course I date black dudes. The thing is when you're dating a black man is that you are always in a struggle competition. As a black woman, who has it worse? Black dude, black woman. It's always a back and forth. You just come home, you're like, babe, I gotta tell you this racist shit that Karen said at work. He's like, you don't know what it's like to be a black man in America. You're like, hey man, we wasn't talking about that. I just wanna say what Karen said. You know what it's like to be a black man in America? I get shot by the police. You're like, I can't say nothing after shot by the police. What am I supposed to say? What you want for dinner? What am I supposed to say <laughs> after that? But then Sandra Bland happened. And that's when I found out that black women also get killed by the police. And we've been getting killed by the police the entire time. And nobody's been talking about it. Nobody ain't said a word. So the next time he comes at me, well, you know what it's like to be a black man, I get shot by the police. Yeah, nigga, I get shot by the police too. Now sit your ass down, we talking about Karen. Oh, I'm so glad to be back in the South where people are real. Oh, and the men are beautiful. Yes. Because I was forced to move to New York because of success. And I hate that place. <laughs> I hate that place. I hate that place. I hate it. I hate it, okay? You're not allowed to say that. You're not allowed to say you hate New York. Because people will go, what do you mean you hate New York? It's the greatest city on earth. <laughs> what? And they always do it the same way. They always look slightly off to the side like a cult member. It's the greatest city on earth. What? <laughs> Where'd you go? I'm right here. What happened? Is de Blasio paying you? What's going on? I hate that place. It's a Yankee trash heap. I hate it. This is my purpose in life. This is my ministry to tell you. It's horrible. Because when they say to you, it's the greatest city on earth, I go, prove it. Like, oh, uh, uh, the museums, what? The museums, the, muse the museums are amazing. You can go to a museum every day. I can't go to no museum every day. I got a job. <laughs> well, well, the restaurants, the restaurants are amazing. I can't go to your fancy restaurants. I quit my job to go to museums. <laughs> and it's so cold. <laughs> it's so cold. And just to know something about me, just emotionally, spiritually, genetically, historically, I'm never supposed to be cold. <laughs> so to live somewhere that gets so cold. <laughs> like last year, it snowed, there was a blizzard, but they called it a bomb cyclone. <laughs> a cyclone is a hurricane in the South Pacific and a bomb is a damn bomb. <laughs> Why are we all of a sudden confused as to what's happening out here? <laughs> so it happened on a Wednesday and they told me I still had to go to work. Wait a minute. <laughs> There's frozen on the water on the ground. 
Jesus don't want me to go to work. <laughs> Why I got to do this? What are you talking about, okay? And they're like, oh, you can still take the train. No, 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 no. Mm -mm. It was seven degrees outside. As the high. Those were all the degrees we was gonna get that day. And you want me to get on this train? I live where the above ground train is. I don't know what these frigid temperatures would do to rail lines. I was a theater major, not an engineer. <laughs> so I get on this frozen train and it jumps the tracks and all of a sudden I'm in a Final Destination movie. Absolutely not. <laughs> so I was like, fine, I'll take a car. And I was standing outside in the seven degrees freezing my eggs. trying to get to work, and I snapped because it was seven degrees outside, but the sun was out, <laughs> mocking me <laughs> like a lamp in the damn sky. <laughs> and I snapped. I just looked up, like, I get a billion degrees again, give me 50, go to hell! And I was like, you know what? <laughs> then I realized I was a black lady in a white neighborhood yelling at the sun. Like, you know what, let me go inside, because if you call the cops on me, I earned it. I earned it. The only good thing about winter is that it's cuffing season, and your girl was a cuffing season all-star. <laughs> because this is when my people, and when I say my people, I mean fat. <laughs> and if a single one of you white women comes up to me after this fucking show going, you're not fat, you're beautiful, bitch, I know that. <laughs> One does not cancel out the other. We've all seen ugly, skinny people. Quit fucking with me. <laughs> but this is a special time of year where skinny chicks take a knee because they can't keep anybody warm at night. <laughs> I've been on Pinterest stocking up, you know, recipes, getting that Netflix queue ready. We finna cuddle, okay? <laughs> Laying next to me with an electric blanket, you'll never leave. <laughs> This is the thing, y'all. I want children, okay? I want children. I want a husband. I want all of these things. Because okay? what I really want, I want beautiful daughters and I want giant sons. I'm talking about six years old playing varsity football. Giant! Fucking sons. I already told y'all the problem with that. I like Jewish dudes. <laughs> it's not how you make that baby. I'm gonna make Drake. <laughs> I'm gonna make Degrassi Drake. <laughs> the weakest of all the damn Drakes! You haven't noticed I'm a black woman? You're welcome. And it's interesting because when I'm talking to uh, these white girls and they're trying to talk to me like, we're all women, we're all women need to come together. I'm like, listen girl, I'm black first. I'm a black woman, I'm black first. It's literally in the name of me as a human. <sighs> and there's so much oppression to deal with, with being black and being a woman. That what I have to do is I have to break my oppression down, you know, to make it manageable. So I'm black Monday, Wednesday, Friday. <laughs> I'm a woman Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday. <laughs> I'm fat on Sunday, even God rested. <laughs> I'm exhausted. But doing stand-up, I gotta talk to a lot of white girls, cause you know, they be around. And they always wanna talk to me about feminism. I'm like, girl, why? Like, I'm like, like what you want. They're like, we, I mean, there's just so many issues. Like, oh, it's equal pay for equal work, equal pay for equal work. I'm like, cool, 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 cool. I don't want to work. <laughs> Ever. <laughs> I want to be a trophy wife. I want to kick people off my yacht because they brought me the wrong wine. <laughs> I said, Riesling, ocean. And then I gotta hire somebody to fish them out the water. Now I'm creating jobs. I'm single, which is confusing. No, it's not. Because I have boobs big enough for each of them to have their own boyfriend. 
If you want big titties, go to church. That's what I did. These G's came from Jesus. You're welcome. Listen. Because I get real confused because I'm like, men love titties, right? And they love a big ass. I have both of those. So I'm like, all right, two plus two equals married. <laughs> yeah, it's weird to get up in the morning and be beautiful and single and be like, what the fuck is happening? And the shit's hit me real hard because I'm in my 30s. Don't tell my manager. I'm in my 30s. <laughs> and my best friend, she tried to warn me. She's like, listen, when you turn 30, your body's going to freak out. And I was like, lies, bitch, lies. <laughs> and then I turned 30. Then my biological clock went from snooze to European techno. <laughs> so now, every time I see a child, I just hear, bam, bam, have a baby, bam, it's awesome, bam, it'll love you, wait a minute. <laughs> I have things to do today, okay. Are there any women here in their 20s? <laughs> All right, let me talk to y'all for a second, because, uh, Nobody told me, you have to listen to me. I'm a black woman, that's why Oprah's a billionaire, okay? You have to listen to me. <laughs> Oprah's the only reason white women read. Let's talk about that. So, <laughs> I need to tell you something, because nobody tried to warn me and I didn't want to listen. Nobody told me, so I'm trying to help y'all. I want y'all to know, you've never been horny before. <laughs> I'm telling you right now, they didn't tell me, all right? And you know what that silence is? Every woman in her 30s going, tell these bitches the truth. <laughs> Nobody told me. Because I don't want to have sex, I want to mate. That's a completely different part of your brain, okay? You don't think I didn't walk in here and figure out at least five dudes I want to bang before this special's over? You're crazy, hi, sir. I'm not kidding! What up, green shirt? This is not a joke! What's up? Listen, I am not playing with y'all, okay? Because I wake up every morning and my body goes, give me a baby. I'm like, hey, man, I got to go to work today. <laughs> give me a baby. I got to catch a flight, not a fetus. No, I can't. <laughs> give me a baby. Listen, I need a child because I've looked like a mother of three since I was 15 years old, okay? <laughs> and I'm not saying that to be messed up. I've had huge boobs in this body. I look like that somebody should be asking me questions on a regular basis. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> 